Hey there, fellow drunkards. Tori Shulman here with Hoppy Hour. Now, we apologize we haven't had any new episodes recently, but that's because we've been working on something we think you'll really enjoy. Brewers reading mean reviews. That's right, we've taken the tried and true formula, added some beer to the mix, and subtracted good acting. So let's take a look. Dustin J is drinking an Octosi Fest. His review, field malts, aroma and taste, tastes like I am drinking cattle feed. Two and a half stars. Well, Dustin J, you're an idiot. Dear Dustin Brewing Company, why must you blow? Seriously, why do you have to suck this much? You see, I had high hopes for you. You look like a beacon of possibility, a brewing company with beer. This guy must be like just turned 21. I mean, what a moron. Elizabeth is drinking a five and dime. No. Has the lager skunkiness with cough syrup flavor. <coughs> you. <coughs> you suck. Sorry. One of my personal favorites is for a Crystal Weizen, which is a filtered wheat ale. It's a good beer, but it has a weird aftertaste. But I wouldn't kick it out of bed if she farted. <laughs> <laughs> I showed up with a friend who was just excited as me. It meant the possibility of many drunken stumblings home. It meant a nice liver-killing future. Wow. This guy is crazy. Chris R. This is not beer. It's more like lemon water. Thanks, Chris. You're a fucking dick. Taylor C. is drinking a pistol whip by Noble Airworks at Umami Burger. Seattle! Three and a half stars. Thank you. Taylor, your review has been considered. Goose L is drinking Pure Rat Porter. Not a big fan. Smoky and too much thin and watery on the finish. Disappointed. One star. I'm sorry gold winning beer doesn't please you. Alexis P. It's like cabbage. Don't know if that's good or not. But if cabbage beer was a style, boom, first place. I'll tell you what, Alexis, we'll do a cabbage beer just for you. Come on in. So Max V is drinking a Not So Dumb by Four Sons Brewing. The dishwater of a blonde meets spoiled raspberries. Pass. But if this guy knows what dishwater tastes like, that's the issue right there. Hey, Max, why don't you stop drinking dishwater? Yarn is drinking an Oktoberfest at Beach City Brewery. Adriana said, I want to rate it at 1.5, but she gave me a three and a half. F***ing slut. <laughs> Angelo A is drinking a breakaway pale ale. Meh. The bar is weird and tiny, and there's other massive gaping holes filled with all the people. What I would expect to see it is Shakey's. <laughs> Teresa Z is drinking Beach Cruiser by Beach City Brewery at Beach City Brewery. Thanks for coming in. Uh, it says, ew. Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. I'm glad you liked it. From Chelsea R, if I could give this place a negative review, I would. If I could give you a negative review, I would. Chuck T is drinking a Long Live the Queen by Beach City Brewery. You gave me a one and a half star and said, it grabs my throat. Well, Chuck, I've got something for your throat. For the love of God and all that's holy, stop sucking, please. Maybe if you turn your act around, I'll come by for Come in for a picture of your porter and sit on the patio till the wee morning hours. But now F you, F you in the ear. Anyways, don't come in. I don't fucking want to see you anyway. Fucking <laughs> bastard. That's it for the inaugural episode of Brewers Reading Mean Reviews. Now, if you have any comments, place them below. And if you've ever come across a juicy review, email it to us at hoppyhourtv at gmail.com. New episodes of Hoppy Hour will be starting February 5th, so make sure you keep your eyes out for that. I'm Tori Shulman, this is Hoppy Hour, and remember, always drunk responsibly! Mm -hmm.